as our closest planetary neighbour, Venus, was formed at the same time and in the same part of the early solar system as the Earth, and Venus was made with the same basic ingredients, the same gases and the same rocks. However, now the two planets are completely different. On Venus, days last longer than years and the planet rotates clockwise with the sun rising in the west and setting in the east. And while here on Earth we benefit from an atmosphere permitting life, Venus is bone dry and cloaked in a thick, choking atmosphere of sulfuric acid and CO2. Since 2005, ESA's Venus Express has been in orbit around Venus, scanning its atmosphere from above. Now, to take a better look, ESA has sent Venus Express skimming into the top layer of the atmosphere using a technique known as aerobraking. We went into the atmosphere in this direction because this face of the spacecraft, which had been attached to the rocket originally when it was launched, was most able to take the forces and the temperatures. We also turned the solar panels to maximize the amount of friction and to get the most amount of braking. This maneuver offered the first ever close-up view of Venus's upper atmosphere, and it wasn't what was expected. What we saw that was a little unusual is the variability in the pressure, as if there were waves within the atmosphere. And so that possible wave-like structure was not expected, and uh, we'll, analyzing that data will keep scientists busy for a little while yet. Thanks to Venus Express's data, it's thought that these wave-like fluctuations could be related to the speed of the winds that circulate around Venus. And these winds appear to be getting faster. When we arrived at Venus uh, eight years ago, uh, we detected winds at uh, 300 km per hour, very fast. But what has happened during these years, uh, until now, they have actually increased. We, have, we now see winds of 400 km per hour. And we can't really explain why, why that has happened. Venus Express has spent more than eight years digging into the secrets of the Venusian atmosphere to better understand the complex dynamics between the planet's atmosphere and interplanetary solar winds and the atmosphere and the surface. While these recent findings pose many new questions, it is possible that clues to the answers lie somewhere in the vast amounts of data that have been gathered by the spacecraft over the course of its mission.